I'm Sarah, and every day my life revolves around design. This is my journal of what's happening right now in my world as a creator, an entrepreneur, a partner, and a mom. And I'm sharing it with you. So let's go. Today is another chapter in my design life. Today in our Design Light series, this is Decision Day. You and a number of other people have commented that the old finish, our whitewash finish, is looking pinky. And I seem to recall you said it looked like pantyhose when we talked about it. Or... Or what? Band-Aids. Band-Aids. Band-Aids, right, okay. And so now you can really see in this room, we have our brand new windows, which is new, fresh, white pine and we have our original whitewash stain. Our challenge today is can we apply a new stain that will still have some degree of transparency, not be fully opaque like paint, look great right out of the gate, and be easy to achieve? We can, they just don't make it. So, so we'll have, we're making it. So we're making it. If we have to, we'll go solid. I just feel like that's such a knee-jerk reaction to go solid out of the gate, and I think it's worth trying to keep some well, texture that's, first, Well, yeah, that's right? the easy way, but I think to keep it rustic looking and keep it cottagey, I think we need, I think it's nice to be able to see the wood and see the grain, don't you? I'm so glad you said that, because I got the impression, I got the impression <laughs> that you just wanted to paint the whole darn thing. Well, that would be easier. What would you do? What would you do? Would you paint this, or would you try and stain it? It's tricky. Paint it. Okay, so here we have fresh pine, and then we have some reclaimed pieces so that we can see what it's looking like. So you're actually using, instead of using stain, we've yep. decided to use eggshell paint and water it down. Yes. Okay. So the trick is the consistency. Yep. How much water to how much paint. and. And what it, is the trick that you're talking about? The trick well, is with to... me, it's actually with me now, it's just a feel. Like I could say it's 25%, 50%, 75 Okay. But I know the consistency just by stirring and I know where I should be. If it's too thin, it's just going to run down. You're going to get drips. If it's yeah. too thick, it's paint. You're right. going to cover it. Right. So I kind of know from the feel of it where we should be. Okay. So, so I feel like some of these, speaking of feels, all the feels. Some of these are giving me the feels that they're too opaque and I want them to be a bit more translucent. Like that one. Yeah, like that one just looks like a not awesome paint job. It looks like it needs one more coat of paint, right? Yeah, so I yeah. don't want that. Okay, so 25% water to okay. paint. Three quarters paint. 25% water to paint. So there's the difference right there. The trick is... You just said 25%, 25%. Oh, did I? Yeah, you oh. lied. 25, 25 no. 25%, 50%. Yes, sorry. Okay. Yeah. I like the look of 50%. Okay. Are you expecting mm. this to look exactly like this? Am I expecting or am I <laughs> attempting? Are you attempting? I don't think we want to highlight. Like, we want it to look the same. Yeah, it used to look the same. I can't guarantee that. Mm. No, I know you can't guarantee anything. No, and it is wood. Like I said, like, this is new. This is, this is like yesterday and this is 11 years ago. Like, I think that looks pretty darn good. That's, that's the old and that's the new. Yeah, you know what, you're right. I mean, that's, you're right. that's pretty good. You're right. Can you live with that? Can you live with that, Alex? Yes, you can live with that. Okay, the key is here, this isn't white. This is a gray paint. We are using what color are we using again? We're using gray owl. Gray owl. So this is a soft gray paint. This is not in the handbook. I no. feel like this is not in the staining handbook. You're not looking up a color chip and going, it's going to look like this. We're working with it as we go. It's like commando staining. There's other one thing we can't guarantee. What it's going to look like. What the new pine is going to look like two weeks from now. This will be more, the old will be more consistent than the new because the new is going to take on the color of the pine. And I know. In two weeks from now, you're going to be gone and I'm going to be hoping I like it. Do Cheryl be gone? I don't know if you'll be gone in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I don't know. Let's see if we've got the right color. I feel like we should do it around <laughs> that kitchen door. Right over there. Let's do it. I 
construction crew has not been keeping the cabinets. It's part of me. Sorry. There's some, and they're little greasy fingers. Okay, I'm trying to do a TV show here. Can you yeah, stop really. Jimmy Smith and get <laughs> filming, please? Oh Any, anybody who knows me, I like to clean. <laughs> Look, I'm waiting for the paint to go on. Yeah, it's on. I'm gonna need more water. More water. Excuse me, pardon me. Are you gonna, like, you're not making this mix up as you go. Yeah, it's fine, don't worry. Steve, this is, all, I'm this a, is not feeling I'm like a professional. A, this is not feeling like a <laughs> controlled experiment. This is feeling like total chaos. Maybe I should just go figure out some fabric schemes while you. Yeah, you go and come back and it'll look bye. amazing, okay? Yeah. Okay. I go. Right. I go bye bye. Bye. <laughs> When yeah. we did the cottage originally, this was a guest room. Yes. Fiona was not even born. For the first nine years, the girls shared a bedroom. Yeah. And when Fiona turned 10, she wanted her own room. So Fiona came in here. This is, this is a little, cute little room. Yeah. And it works well. So I thought that when we were doing this, we should let Fiona have a say in what she wants her room to look like moving forward. So this is my ripple drop fabric. She chose this with no for, pushing from me. For drapes? For the drapes. That's perfect. It's okay. Beautiful. Then she chose this fabric. This fabric is designed by Jeffrey Allen Marks, an American designer. And this is called, she chose this because she really liked it and it reminded her of the water. It does. It's actually called water polo. So this is going to be her headboard. Okay. And then this is, this is really clever. This is a Kravitz Smart fabric. So this is actually an indoor outdoor fabric. We're going to reupholster this chair here. Okay. And then maybe a pillow in this one. They're really nice. If, you, if you've been watching for a long time, you always know, you know, I always, 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 I start with what I call the hero fabric. So what is the fabric that I love most of any other fabric? And then I build a scheme around it. I'm kind of torn. I feel like it's one of these. Do you agree that it's one of these? I like them both and I like the one that's closest to you. You like this one better? Because it, it goes with the floor. You like this one, I, that's exactly what I like. I like the riff that this feels like it's taken from the floor. And originally when I did this room, we had a lot of red accents and... Where did those come from? Those, I put in red accents because your favorite color is red. Correct. I don't see a lot of red in any of these, uh, but that's okay. You know what? I love you, but I don't like red. And on a hot day, red makes me feel hot when I want to feel cool. So I would prefer it if we just stayed cool. Can we be cool? Cool, man. Just cool. So I think this is going to be it. I think we do this on a headboard. So the good thing is I sent the headboard away, and if you were worried, thinking, what is she doing? I'm just going to recover the headboard. It's super inexpensive to recover it in a new fabric. We've had it for 11 years. I feel it's time for a change. So it's going to come back, and it's going to be dressed in this. So this is what used to be the girls' room and is now just Robin's room. So Robin said she wanted some gray in her room. Question is, how does, do we like the gray with the green? The gray with the green looks pretty nice, I think. Yeah. You like that? This? On stripes? So, are, are you happy with that? Yeah, it's dry already. It's amazing. That's like, what, half an hour. So, you think that this is going to continue to absorb into the wood and lighten? I can't predict the future, sir. <laughs> I know, you want, Daisy wants a carrot. You know what Daisy really loves? Meat sticks? She loves the end of fresh really? Ontario asparagus. If you snap it, Daisy will come running. Do you love asparagus? That's weird. I've never seen a dog eat asparagus. Tricks. She loves it. Are you actually, I want to know, Daisy, everybody else worked really hard today. What did you do on site today? Did you work really, really hard? I'm liking the way it's looking right now. Yeah, I mean, I think this is the more interesting spot to look over here. I'm not seeing any sort of displeasing contrast between the new trim and the old. Right. So, no, it looks. I think that we're achieving the goal, which is I still know. I just want to make sure that we still know that it's wood under there and it doesn't look like a bad paint job. So, <laughs> we definitely have 
What? You don't have to worry about that. It's the wood will come through because well, you can see it's it already. I mean, you can see that. But I, I was worried that it was going to go pink again, and I right. don't think it. I don't see any pink. The pink no. is totally gone. I just want to know if we opened up another can of worms. Like. Look up. Oh, the ceiling. Is the ceiling going to look okay with the walls? Or? It's going to look great. It's going to look great. <laughs> That's your time saving voice. <laughs> I know, I like, I would, I would not, don't mess with. Don't, don't mess with the boards. I think they look great. It's rustic. It's cottagey. I, I think you're opening up something you don't need to. I like yes. it. I'm happy. Good. It was definitely worth the trip to the island today. What do you think? Are you happy with where we've come? Do you think we found the right solution? Tell me what you think. You know I want to know. Would you sign off on this? Would you say, Steve, go for it and do all the rest of it like this? Or would you go solid? white. Mm.